Welcome to our top 10 list of famous heavy drinkers in history and their favorite drinks. From presidents to musicians, these individuals have left a lasting impact on the world while also having a love for the bottle. But before we dive into the list, let's ask ourselves, why do people drink? Is it simply for the taste? Or is there something deeper at play? As we explore the lives of these famous heavy drinkers, we'll try to understand their motivations and how alcohol played a role in their successes and failures. Now, without further ado, let's begin our countdown. George Washington and Madeira Wine As the first president of the United States, George Washington had a lot on his plate, but he also had a love for Madeira wine, a fortified wine from the Portuguese island of Madeira. Washington would often host lavish dinners at Mount Vernon, his Virginia plantation, and Madeira wine was a staple at these events. It's said that he even had a special cellar built just for his collection of Madeira. Winston Churchill and Brandy. Ladies and gentlemen, permit me, please, to claim your attention. British Prime Minister Winston Churchill is known for his leadership during World War II, but he was also quite the drinker. His drink of choice was brandy, and he was known to enjoy it neat or with a splash of water. Churchill famously said, I have taken more out of alcohol than alcohol has taken out of me. Ernest Hemingway and Mojitos Pulitzer and Nobel Prize-winning author Ernest Hemingway was known for his love of adventure and his love of drink. His favorite cocktail was the Mojito, a refreshing mix of white rum, lime juice, sugar, mint, and soda water. Hemingway was often seen sipping Mojitos at the bars of Havana, Cuba, where he spent a lot of time. Edgar Allan Poe and Cognac Famous poet and author Edgar Allan Poe had a tumultuous life and a love for cognac. It's said that he would often drink to excess, leading to his untimely death at the young age of 40. Despite his struggles with alcohol, Poe was a fan of cognac and was known to enjoy it with a pipe and a good book. Frank Sinatra and Jack Daniels I'm not up to Singer and actor Frank Sinatra was known for his smooth voice and his love of Jack Daniel's whiskey. In fact, he was such a fan of the brand that he even had a special room at his Palm Springs home dedicated to storing his collection of Jack Daniels. Sinatra was also known to enjoy vodka martinis, often ordering them shaken, not stirred. John Barrymore and Champagne Actor John Barrymore was known for his roles in classic films like Grand Hotel and 20th Century. Doing behind my back, undermining me again. Listen, OJ. Francine Anderson. He was also known for his love of champagne, often referred to as the actor's drink. Barrymore was known to drink champagne before, during, and after performances, and he even had a special champagne chair in his dressing room. Elvis Presley and Southern Comfort Rock and roll icon Elvis Presley had a love for many things, including Southern Comfort whiskey. Presley was known to enjoy the sweet, smooth flavor of Southern Comfort, often sipping on it while performing or relaxing at home. He was also a fan of peanut butter and banana sandwiches, which he would often wash down with a shot of Southern Comfort. Hunter S. Thompson and Shiva's Regal Famed journalist and author Hunter S. Thompson was known for his unorthodox writing style and his love of drink. Thompson was known for his love of alcohol, particularly bourbon. He was often seen drinking bourbon on the rocks and was known to drink it in excess. Oscar Wilde and Absinthe This famous writer and philosopher was known for his love of absinthe, often referred to as the Green Fairy. Wilde was known to drink several absinthe cocktails a day and even wrote a play about the drink called The Absinthe Drinker. F. Scott Fitzgerald and Gin Renowned author F. Scott Fitzgerald was a heavy drinker and often wrote about his love of alcohol in his work. 
His favorite drink was a gin and tonic, and he was known to consume large amounts of it on a regular basis. These are just a few of the many famous heavy drinkers in history and their favorite drinks. Whether they liked alcohol to escape their problems, to make social situations more interesting, or simply because they enjoyed the feeling of being drunk, they all had a deep love for their favorite drinks. But let's be clear, heady drinking is not something to be celebrated or glamorized. However, it is important to recognize and learn from the stories of these famous figures and the role that alcohol played in their lives. So grab your favorite drink and raise a glass to these famous heavy drinkers in history. Thanks for watching.